highlights of my career have been, I was very fortunate to win the European Cup twice with Nottingham Forest. We won the league with Nottingham Forest. I won the, uh, not the FA Cup, not too good in the FA Cup, but the Milk Cup, um, Super Cup. Uh, and winning the league is a big thing, I think. Nottingham Forest changed under Brian Clough uh, very, very quickly. Um, he was a, a, a big overriding influence on everybody who was there. Myself, John Robertson, Tony Woodcock, Martin O'Neill were all there when he arrived and he made a big hand back straight away and uh, as I said earlier we went on to win many things. Playing under Sir Alex Ferguson it was uh, very similar to Brian Clough. They, they demanded respect. Um, if they said walk through that wall you would do that. And I think both very similar playing the football in the same way. Uh, you play and move and they were both very very good man managers so uh, they were very very similar in many respects. Very honoured, first and foremost. Myself and Laurie Cunningham were vying for that position and luckily enough I ended up being the one that getting the, the call from uh, Ron Greenwood to say that I was going to be the first black player. Laurie was already the first black under 21 international but it turned out that I was the first full international. So um, obviously very proud and very honoured to play for your country is always a great thing. Oh, it's changed a tremendous amount. There was only a couple of black well there was only one black face on the television when I when I played was a lad called Clyde Best um, and then obviously I came along, Sil came along, Laurie came along and it's changed a hell of a lot now you look up and down the country there's more black faces playing in football teams I just think the next stage is management side I think we've only got two or three managers I think it's really important that we're not just looked upon as athletes but we're looked upon as managers of men. I think the fines from UEFA are boarding on pathetic. I think uh, when you talk about £65,000 for the fine for what the incidents just recently in Bulgaria, I think it's absolutely pathetic. I think it's got to be, you know, millions of pounds. So the, the associations or whatever country it is takes up and takes notice that it's, it's not accepted in 2019 going on to 2020. So I think the fines have got to be more, more stringent. And I think if needs be, uh, kick them out of the competition, whichever they're playing in. Mm -hmm.